Hello again, friends and comrades, and welcome back to the blind playthrough of Tyranny with me, Brad Zed. We're just here in the uh, abyss. We're here in the bastard's wound. Um, basically just finishing things up. I, I think we've pretty much done most of what we can here. Uh, I did not side with Wagstaff or Jaspos. I basically subjugated both of them. Uh, unlike those Archons back in the tiers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat those... I'm gonna beat both of them up. Uh, and then maybe Tunon. I don't know. We'll subjugate him. Maybe. Not entirely sure how that's gonna work out. But... Currently I'm on the lookout for one... I think one more piece of this chronicle. This missing... This missing chronicle. But... Uh, they don't show up in the minimap. I thought Lexine gave me something that would help me highlight them all on the map. But... I guess not. Uh, the Abyss, Dark and Hollow... The Abyss... Okay. You know what? Forget these. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna leave and I'll I'll work I'll work out some way to get those chronicle pieces at some other point, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just skip them. I haven't found any artifacts in the Bastard's Wound. Overall, I think this DLC uh, it, it doesn't add enough for my liking, to be honest. I'm going to go back to the Mountain Spire. We're done with the Bastard's Wound. One thing about... Um, <clears throat> uh, one thing about this DLC is it adds one settlement. It's very nice settlement. I actually really like it. Um, there is another, actually, settlement north uh, in the south part of Haven. It's like a port settlement, but... You, you go there once, and then there's nothing there for you to do ever again. So it's not the most uh, not the most exciting thing. Um, as a DLC, I don't think it added quite enough. And now that I'm getting toward the end of this game, I feel like I don't. Know, is is it is it just me, or is it like Barrick and Verse are the only companions that have companion quests? Is that a thing in this game? Because that's not... I mean, that's not standard RPG fare at this point. I think they should all have quests. And I don't know if I just missed one, but I'm sure Lantry didn't have one. I'm quite sure Shireen didn't have one. Um, it's just a case of, like... I haven't used Ebb, so I don't know if, if she had one. I didn't think Kills and Shadows had one. I, I don't know if I'm just missing out because I'm not using a couple of party members, but it doesn't seem to me like all of the companions actually have uh, an equal amount of content. So, it's a little unfortunate. A little bit unfortunate. Hey, I want to make you something. I want, to make, I want you to make me something, rather. Um, potentially. The Nightwalker boots, are they pretty cool? They have Blood Mark's name. Why? Why is he on these? Oh yeah, I don't have that Hound's Hide mantle. I don't know how I missed a few things. I've pretty much been everywhere. Pretty much done everything. Um, we're just gonna right now. We're just gonna teleport to all of my spires. Gonna collect all my junk, and then we're gonna go after the voices of Narat. I think that's going to be our first step. We're going to take him out. I doubt we'll. I doubt we'll need to uh, right. get submission from him. I doubt he'll bend the knee. Um, what have you made for me? What do you got? Lots of cool junk that I'll never use. <laughs> I'm never going to use any of that. I appreciate all the hard work you put into it, but I'm not going to use it. Wait. It'll be better to go here first. There we go. Now we'll teleport to that one and then go to Cacophony. Cacophony. We're going to raise a Cacophony. 
beating a bunch of Skylar Chorus into the ground. That's what we're going to do. Voices of Narad, watch out. Uh, Varus, I think, is the one who gives me crap. He gives me hides, right? Just two. That's not... That's not enough. Go back out there. Actually, you know what? Before, before I do anything... Before I leave, I'm gonna see if I have any more training I can do. Sure, let's go. What do you got? One-handed weapons? Yeah. Let's train that. Let's train the crap out of that. I even leveled up. Look at that. Boom. Okay, now it's going to be kind of expensive. <laughs> um, is there anything else I can train while I'm up here? Thala, what you got for me? I like to train. Okay. Uh. Fate binder. Good, yep. Okay. Gain a quick bit of loyalty, I guess, apparently. Um, is there really nothing else I can... Why can't I train more? Oh! I have no more trainable ranks. Okay. Oops. I see. Okay. Well, well, we leveled up once. That's pretty nice. That's pretty, pretty nice. Let's just be happy with what we got. Uh, okay, so... I believe I was going to continue down the power tree here. Um, and then, can we get the Skullcracker? Nope, not yet. Okay, a couple more things there that are probably worth getting. And then maybe I'll dip into there again. I don't know. I don't know if I really necessarily need Skullcracker in order to be a, an effective frontliner. Um, I don't know if it's worth putting that many more points into these kinds of skills. But we'll save that, right? We're good. We're going to have some powerful crit criticals if we crit. Oh, yeah. Can you feel the anticipation? We're going to go beat up the voices of Narat. We're going to beat all of the voices out of that guy. He's going to be so hoarse. So hoarse at the end of this. He's going to be just choking on all those voices. Oh, feels good. Hey, I found something in the depths of the old walls. What is this? And you're going to let me make something? Oh, is this going to be a new... A new... Uh, not a shout. I'm thinking Skyrim. What's it called here? Edict. Interval between the tones. Uh huh. Very cool. I gain loyalty with Shireen. And we're gonna be able to research, I'm guessing. Deathbringer. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Um, I want to research something. Sigil scroll? Come on. I don't need a shield. I do like artifacts. I love artifacts, in fact. Um, let's just research that. I, I was kind of late to the game, like, starting my research. But I still feel like this game doesn't give you enough time to research everything. So you gotta be pretty judicious in... What? Really? It's actually quicker to go from over there? That's insane. Why can't I just, like... Do we not have sleds or toboggans? I can just go down the mountain? Come on. That looks like a perfectly good ski slope right there. Encounter in the Stone Sea. Okay. Okay. Remnants of a village. And the edge of the Pillars of Stone. Half gate and cacophony. Blah, blah, blah. A pack of beastmen. We will investigate further, of course. We're, we're not going to leave. We never abandon any of these little encounters. Come on. Okay, we're going to investigate further. Get a little closer, like... Okay. There's a lot of Azuralith. Uh, they wear the bare minimum of clothing necessary to preserve their modesty. Okay, so they're basically just wearing, like, loincloths. Uh. Uh, 
Oh. So it's like a bunch of humans who think they're beast people? Carving runes into their skin? That's kind of interesting. What's happening here? Invoking Cairn. Oh no. Oh no, no. He was a traitor. I'm going to speak to you. Uh, what are you doing out here? What the, what the hell do you, what, what is this? I don't want to be that kind of police officer, you know, like, uh, what's, what's this gathering all about? Break it up. No, that, that sucks. But, uh, okay. So these guys are like a cult, a cult to Karen. Whether or not Cairn could help you aside, you know that this superstitious idolatry is wildly illegal, right? We commune with the man of the mountain. He grants us his boon and protects us from the cruelties of this place. He shall come to us in time. To save us from the overlord's tyrannical yoke. We care not for the laws of foreign invaders. Okay, well eventually someone from Cacophony is going to wander this way, and Scarlet Chorus find you here will not go well for you. The man of the mountain shall protect us. Already he grants us his favor. Okay. You know what? She didn't take care of this. <laughs> I have them. What should I do with them? Send them to Halfgate. I got wrath with the regents of Stalwart. Hey, are those those assholes who hated beast people? Screw them. <laughs> I'm happy that they'll be taking on unwanted people. People in Halfgate are unwanted. Like, God, those people are such jerks. They deserve a little more tribulation. Until they can learn to be a little bit kinder to each other and to others, you know? I'm, I'm not sure that's how uh, changing people's hearts works, really, but... I'm hoping it's going to work in this case. <laughs> Here's a situation you fucking hate. Learn to deal with it. Be better people. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, Scarlet Chorus. I used to hang out with you guys. It feels like so long ago we were, we were best friends. We were such good friends, but... What happened to us? Was it really just the services? Was there something more? Maybe we were just never meant to be. First is cool though. She's cool. She can hang out. I got. Uh, nothing to loot. Oh, come on. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's go down here. Battle. Oh, okay. We've already, we've already got them. It's gonna be a little more careful about uh, how I pull them, but never mind. Never mind. We can just dive right in. Yes! Wreck him! Come on, get under Durigo, let's... Wreck him, these silly people. I wish you could replace the Fatebinder's laugh with, like, Kane's laugh from Legacy of Kane. That would just be super badass. Mega badass. Okay. Oh, you got something to say? Finder, about that parchment we found. I was definitely right about it being music. It'll take a little while to fully understand. The relationship between tones are universal, but tempo and volume vary. Just because the notation looks intuitive doesn't mean it is. If I'm right about what's on this page, though, it's related to that humming stone Cairn left for me. Not that I have any idea what that could mean. Hmm. Huh. Maybe a previous Archon of Stone wrote that parchment? Or some musty old dirt mystic, like an ancient Earthshaker. Whatever the truth, interpreting this may help me better understand my abilities. <laughs> I don't want to do that, come on. That's ridiculous. Even though she is an Archon, and she could hypothetically turn against me and, you know, become the ruling Archon of the Tears. But, uh... When I figure this song out, you'll be the first to hear. I, I do 
appreciate her loyalty so far. So, I think it's okay that I give her a little more power. I see nothing wrong. Provide furnishing my loyal subjects with more power. I remember back when Beastman used to be a huge problem for me. Three Beastmen and two mages at, some, at one point would have been a real disaster just waiting to happen. <laughs> but, you know, learning the magic system, increasing or improving the types of spells you've got at your disposal is a really big deal. Really, really big deal. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to basically clear out Cacophony. Defeat all the Kairos of the Horus forces. And you know what? There is one thing I wanted to do. Um, because I noticed that these two spells share a cooldown. I'd, I'd like to give him something slightly different. Um, how much is the range? Oh, but this, this only increases casting range, not the uh, AoE radius. So, not worth it. Not worth it. Um, we could almost do that. Accuracy is just kind of nice. Okay, let's give him that one for now. We'll assign it to there. Um, now, this one... just want to make sure... Um... What if I drop the strength down a bit? Oof. What if I get rid of that completely? <laughs> I like bouncing. There we go. I'm gonna update that spell. So now, now he has two different cooldowns. And that should be that should be plenty to play with. Oh, I should update a lot of these spells too. Um, I mean, you're okay. Oof. Let's go to leap. Uh. Oof. Quite a jump. <laughs> um. Oh well, we're just gonna finish Cacophony first. Another. Hello, Seven Toes, you're going down for sure. I, I am interested to know how you've lost all of your toes, but... Wow, that's a huge area. That is legitimately a gigantic, gigantic area of healing. <laughs> uh, I should have been using abilities the whole time. Leave that jerk. There we go. And let's suck that jerk. There we go. Boom. Oh, we got the first guy. That's nice. Hells yeah. Final hunt. Oh, yeah. This is a Narad. You're going down. Is that... That's heavy armor. Damn it. Come on, I only wear light armor. You jerks. Let's wait till our health gets fully up there. There we go. Before we rush into the next conflict. Gonna do a nice little whirlwind. That's a new trick. I kind of want to build an unarmed character in this game. Oh, I love that explosion. I think that's whenever you kill someone with a fire effect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Boom. Look at that. Bonk. Okay. Uh, I guess we can rest. It's really weird that you can rest in the enemy camp, but uh, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it anyway. Doesn't even take any camping supplies. Okay. Here we go. This is it. This is the Voices of Narat. Alright, big guy. Let's do this. Your campaign ends here, maggot of unreason. We have no Good intention title. of joining the uncounted corpses littered in your path. We love to see an agent of the court shatter their bonds and declare their sovereignty. But you would have been better served wearing red. The gangs need more talent like yours. 
At least we can make an example of you that others will remember. We could have been magnificent together. But instead, we will have your bones fashioned into a scepter, your skin knotted into a belt, and your tongue fed to crows. At least crows know the meaning of respect and gratitude. Fatebinder, wait. The voices has been weaving at my loom for years. Um... What do you, what do you mean? I'm saying <laughs> that he pointed us at Crocus, he led us to Fort Squander, and that he wanted me to learn what I learned there. I'm saying that maybe everything's gone according to his plan, including this. You presume we possess a more than passing interest in this trumped-up barrister? Whatever our dear adjudicator lacks for, his rationality has never been in question. How are we to know that one of Tunon's students would engage in such ridiculous folly? Your paranoia delights us. However, a stint in infiltration has complicated you delectably. You think I didn't work out your little plot? That I didn't fathom why my sisters got all mixed up inside of me? Don't dance around the accusation, girl. Seize it like a lover. Yeah, I'm thinking that she's kind of like on the cusp of becoming an Archon herself. I... Go fuck yourself, Archon. I don't think she's gonna betray me. She has a pretty high loyalty. Hesitation? This isn't the verse I know. We've both been here before, haven't we? I'm right back to the day when my sisters died in front of me, only this time I'm truly afraid. Maybe my idiot brother has something to do with it. The last time this happened, I froze. Now I'm more afraid of what happens if we attack. Listen to her, Fatebinder. She shows wisdom beyond her years. The Voices of Narat is a terrifying, centuries-old mastermind, and neither of us have been around as long as him. That point seems worth emphasizing. I really, really hope you understand that he's going to hurt us. I mean, I, I did kind of come here expecting that, yeah. <laughs> it seems like it's kind of it's obvious. It's true. We promise. If you're up to it, then I'm with you. I've killed my share of gang bosses, and it doesn't take a genius to know when a leader is flagging and needs to be replaced. <laughs> no offense, Archon. None taken, wretched girl. We have never been more proud of you than at this moment. You are everything the Chorus strives to become. I agree. Perhaps not all is lost between us, Fatebinder. Perhaps you would be willing to accept a settlement of our grievances in exchange for the return of our fury. And what do you intend to do with her? Invite her into our cacophonous hole, of course. Worry not for her. For we shall envelop her in familial understanding. Your sacrifice to our holy cacophony. Yeah, you're gonna absorb her. She'll become one more voice inside Narat. I've never seen the voices get like this. It's like he's fractured around the edges. I know it sounds crazy, but if you gave him what he wanted, I bet he couldn't take it. Hmm. There's no version of this conversation in which I give you verse. Sorry, voices. Looks like I found a new Archon to follow. Shall we end his miserable existence together, verse? Sounds like a plan to me, boss. Oh, I'll yeah. sleep a lot better knowing there's one less parasite in the world. Absolutely. A little spy is right about one thing, you know. You're going to die. Screaming. But your awareness will live for eternity. Suffering within our magnificence. I would sentence no one to that kind of <laughs> that kind of horror. So, yeah, uh, hypothetically, if he were to bend the knee to me, I wouldn't want him as an archon subservient to me. I mean, knowing all that he did to f trigger this civil war, and you know, he, he's a sneaky jerk. I would not Attend want him. Attend to us, darlings. No way. There is more than one way to skin a fate finder. And we will show you as many as possible. Alright, battle time.
I can tell by the little lag at the end of that conversation. Turn around and watch us destroy the Fate Binder. Does he, Another battle. <laughs> does he get a whole bunch of reinforcements somewhere? If not, then that's really interesting. Um. Okay, yes, you can do that. Let's do some spectral blurs on ourselves. You got it. Oh. He summons ads. Fragment of Horatia. Who's that? Can you really pincushion it? On it. On it. Fall before me. Is it worth uh, <laughs> fighting these? Don't know my own. Okay. Yep. There we go. Strength. <laughs> um, you are what? Frozen? You're exhausted. How the hell? We just slept before we started this fight. What uh, oh, right. Okay. More of us. I can't reach both of them. Let's come up here. Go. Okay, this rat has some pretty good area, area effect, or rooting, crowd control. That's what I was hoping to say. He's got some pretty good oh, crowd control I effects. Ah. And that's really annoying. <laughs> um, can we do the big heal? Uh. There we go. First, yeah, you can handle that. Let's about a little stick uh. with. Don't surrender just yet! We You can drink a potion. It's fine. I'm kind of toward the end of the game now, so I don't mind using up some of those resources. I'll take care of it. Uh, wait. Heal her. <laughs> Hells yeah. Okay, let's... There we go. Got that done. He's, he's half dead. Come on. Oh, shit. Uh... And okay, let's see if we can. I don't know. Can he be bleeding? He's... Um, I don't know if he has a body. <laughs> can can he bleed? Uh, well, Sutter has asked that. Um. Oh yeah, you have healing too. I should. Oh, this would be a really nice way to end it. Blood soaked stone. Approach us. I don't know if they actually got blood soaked stone off, but we would have a word with you. Say what you would, creature. Whatever the thoughtless rabble may whisper about this moment, don't delude yourself into thinking you are powerful. That you matter. Or that someone out there isn't greater still. I mean, yeah, Kairos is out there. I don't have we any of that delusion. We came from nothing. Our deeds defined us to the people, and the people knew us as a monster. Did you imagine we were always flames, voices, and secrets? Think on that. You archon of misguided decisions. I will heed your words, Archon. At least you know the value of good advice. That will take you farther than any beaten trail, and it will bite deeper than any crude weapon of iron. Oh, why are you laughing? No, 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 this is your end. No! Not like this! We were so close! Goodbye, chaotic evil. <laughs> is he truly dead? Can I hope that the monster that tormented me will never torment another? <laughs> Good riddance, asshole. Shouldn't have screwed with me and my sisters. That's right. So much knowledge was in that hive of a creature. If Narat weren't such a wanton monster, I'd almost shed a tear for his passing. Just think of how many tomes his minds could have filled. 
Though I suppose most of it would have been sketches of torture and fornication. <laughs> there might be a good market for that, I don't know. In Kairos's empire. It seems like there's a lot of perverse goings on in this empire. <clears throat> it's a weird mix of like oddly progressive and hideously deranged. Will the, do. The Empire of Kairos. Okay, so the chorus is gone. They're no more. Reputation ability. Spurting blood. Okay, so I can basically just do a bleeding effect. But I already have a skill that does that, so... <clears throat> I'm not sure that's uh, entirely worthwhile. So any, anyone with a name that I can talk to? Can't do that. No. Basically, everyone's just, like, returning back to their... They're normal? Really? That's so weird. That's so, so weird. <laughs> so yeah, Archon's dead. Guess we'll just, uh, carry on as usual. Okay, one thing I want to do, though, I want to look at those two weapons I just got from Voices of Narat and, uh, see if those are upgrades for Verse. So, this one is certainly an artifact. This one is... Not an artifact, but it is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good looking. Um, okay, so you've got Dauntless. That's pretty sweet. Final Scream. Blast of Confusion. Yeah. Equip that instead of that. There you go. You can have a little memento, a little keepsake from our time fighting the rat. Pretty cool. Uh, and there's no... Oh, that's pretty sweet. That's light armor. Shrouding of rogues. That's pretty nice. Stalker's Shaco. That's a very strange helmet. <laughs> a very strange mask, but uh, whatever. I guess I'll take it. Wear that. You can be a you can be like a ninja. Renox's Grace. Heavy armor. Ah. Stop giving me heavy armor. God damn it. This game has some weird obsession with heavy armor. What are these? Heavy leather gloves, but you could be using the herbalist mitts, which gives sigil of life, and considering that your current gloves give you nothing, I wonder if that's worth it. Weeping whispers. I should go and upgrade a bunch of these things. Wait, hey, what's this? Penumbra. When did I get that? <laughs> When did I get this? Shadow's Treachery. That's pretty sweet, actually. Plus 10 to parry. That would be really, really good with my current build. But, you know what? I'll just equip it as a secondary, so secondary weapon. Wham, bam. Okay, so Cacophony is no more. Um, I want to go to my forge, which is over here. Wham bam. So there are a couple of other things I could do. I don't think I'm going to because I'm pretty much at the end game. I think I'm just going to finish it. But one thing I could do is I could go through all the old walls again. Now that I have Lantry's ability to read all the runes on the walls, you can read the writing on the walls, as it were. Uh, I could get a whole bunch of like new spell components, but I just I don't think it's I don't think it's worth going back. Uh, to do all of that. Um, let's upgrade a couple of your things. Oh, can't upgrade it again. Damn it. And I don't really care about what you've got, <laughs> to be honest. Um, okay. Well, hey, that's pretty good stuff. Um, I'm thinking, now, we go to Iron Hearth. Oh, 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 Archon Graven Ash, you've got it coming. Disfavored suck, and now we're going to finally plunge that suckiness like a dagger into your hearts, you sucky legion, you legion of suck, you rust buckets. Oh, I like that that banner's actually literally torn. That's awesome. I'm not here to make 
Probably not good for the structural integrity of the banner, to be honest, but... Alright, Graven Ash. Are you protecting? Uh, let's get Sunder. Oh, he's... Oh, okay. This is useless. Try something else. I got it. Oh, yes. Come on. Finish him off. There we go. No. Get up there. On it. Why do you keep going back? I got it. There we go. And bleed him. There we go. That's a nice healing area. Oh, I love those spells. I love all the custom spells in this game. Yes. Beautiful. Really beautiful magic system. Uh, you're not exhausted anymore? Okay, so... Hello, Legion. Get up there. Let's get a nice little whirlwind off. Wing. Bring a ding, baby. Finish off this person. I think Graven, Graven Ash's uh, protection is also a, a like a passive healing. If I don't have that wrong, um, let's buff yourself. Thank you. And you can also. Oh, you've already done it. Okay, never mind. Let's proceed. Proceed with the wrecking of the Legion. How many have I killed? Only one so far? Two. I must have killed two. I should try something else. Uh, on it. Double jab. On it. Oh man, do I have that ability to rip out Ash's protection? Sever Ash's bond. Yes. Let's do it. Oh ho. How's that feel? Oh, they become so much easier after that. That's amazing. Ash does not protect right. losers. That looked like a piss bottle. Is that what I just got? Did I just take that? a piss bottle? <laughs> that guy was carrying around some Gerardi. Aosha's calling. That's pretty nice, actually. Pretty, pretty nice. It's all in the reflexes. Ooh. Elixir of Resolve. Hell yes. Yes, please. I love stat potions. Those are like my favorite kinds of potions. I have a lot of unused potions. I, I don't... Yeah. It's not like Witcher, right? I just, I just don't use potions at all. <laughs> uh, did you use it? Okay. What are your stats like now? Pretty good. Pretty good. That was Reflex, right? Or something like that? Resolve? Maybe. It must, must have been Resolve. Have I got plus one for all of them? Yes. 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 Okay, so I've had all of the... I assume there's like one for each stat in the game. The final scream. Nice. And Penumbra. Very good. Okay, Graven Ash. Look at that. Time has come. Uh, can I... Ooh, that's on cooldown. That's a pretty long cooldown. Pretty, pretty long cooldown. Let's... Oh, yeah. If you focus down the targets, it also works really well. Ah, uh, can we center your armor? Boom. Still getting level ups. That's very nice. Someone that loves shitting. Very nice. Oh, we're doing it. We're gonna make it after all. There we go. Anyone up here? Anyone? Any, uh... Ooh. I love loot. That's one of my favorite things. Oh, yeah. First, let's level you up. See what you've got going on. Uh... Accuracy or ability cooldown? You don't get attacked very much, so let's go with that. And... Oh, Aria of Memories. What does that do? It's summon. Oh, it's like a summoning thing. So I get little minions, I guess. That's kind of cool. I'll take it. Okay, Honest. fear me. You friggin' losers. Let's 
Take away your Graven Ash. Boom! You're nothing without Graven Ash. You're just some loser legionnaires. I gotta say, yeah, without Graven Ash's protection, these guys are nothing. Nothing at all. Super just cake walkies. That is how it's done. Will do. Oh, yeah. A little late on that song thing, but that's okay. You're still, you're still my favorite Archon, other than myself. Perhaps even more than myself. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Okay. We are going to fight Graven Ash. But that's going to be next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. This little conflict. Oh, this guy has it coming. He's got it coming, and we are going to deal with him next time. I can't wait. Thank you so much, and I know I'm going to catch you then. Be seeing ya. And I'll be seeing him, too. <laughs>